Hello everyone, Simon here. If your LG dishwasher isn't heating water up quite the way it should, you are in the right place. In this video, we will guide you through troubleshooting and fixing this issue by inspecting the circulation pump motor heater, the thermistor, the main PCB. Here is an important tip for you. Before turning the dishwasher on, open the hot water faucet and run water until it's really hot. By doing that, you shorten the wash cycle and improve the quality. Now we are ready to dive in. But first, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more DIY appliance repair tutorials. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you to do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a multimeter. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Don't forget to unplug your dishwasher or turn the breaker off. And just to be on the safe side, turn the water supply off. The circulation pump has a dual purpose. It recycles water inside the dishwasher and heats it up while doing that. So the heater is a part of the circulation pump. The pump is mounted underneath the sump. Open the door and locate two mounting brackets at the top. Remove two Phillips screws from the brackets and pull the dishwasher out and turn it to the left to expose the main PCB. Using the flat blade screwdriver, release two clips and pry the PCB up and out. Turn it over and place it down. Unscrew the Phillips screw and remove the metal cover. One of the best tools that you can have in your toolbox is a multimeter. And we would love to show you how this device works and how you can benefit from using it. Check out the video in the description. Locate the black PL3 and blue PL2 relays on the PCB. Set meter to resistance, horseshoe sign, and insert probes in brown and blue wires. The normal resistance should be around 12 ohms. Next, set the meter to volts AC. It's a V with a wavy line. Extreme care should always be taken to protect against electric shock, which could potentially result in serious injury. Please do not test live voltage if you are uncomfortable using a multimeter around live voltage. Plug the dishwasher in and initiate the self-test mode. Press the start button seven times. The heater should energize and reading on the meter should be around 100 volts AC. The thermistor sensing the temperature inside the sump. It's basically a resistor that changes its value depending on the ambient temperature. The PCB constantly monitors the info and operates the heater. The thermistor is mounted on the side of the circulation pump. It can be tested either from the PCB or at the thermistor disconnect plug near the circulation pump. We already have the PCB out. Set your multimeter to resistance, horseshoe sign. With the dishwasher unplugged, locate the plug NA8 and place one probe in pin 3 orange. Locate plug RD6, pin 3 red, and put the second probe in. At room temperature, the resistance should be 10.5, 11.5 kilo ohms. If the reading is way off, replace the thermistor. We have the PCB ready for testing. Locate the black PL3 and blue PL2 relays on the PCB and insert probes in brown and blue wires. Next, set the meter to volts AC. It's a V with a wavy line. Plug the dishwasher in and initiate the self-test mode. Press the start button seven times. The heater should energize and reading on the meter should be around 100 volts AC. As a result of our troubleshooting, we were able to pinpoint the guilty party. It's the thermistor. Let's get right to it. With the dishwasher unplugged, if you will lower your head down, you will see the thermistor at the bottom of the circulation pump. Get the plug out and disconnect it. Then use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screw that holds the thermistor. Pull the old thermistor out. Be careful not to lose the screw. This is the old thermistor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Make sure that the seal is on the thermistor and slide it into the opening in the pump body. Align the holes and secure the thermistor with a Phillips screw. Connect the plug and tuck it away. Install the metal cover onto the PCB and secure it with a Phillips screw. 
turn it over and slide it into the base and lock the tabs. Install the dishwasher under the counter and secure it to the countertop with a couple of Phillips screws. Turn the water on and plug the dishwasher in. And give yourself a round of applause. You did great. Once you have identified the part causing your LG dishwasher water heating issue, jot down your model number and visit appliancepartspros.com to order your replacement part. You will likely have it in just a few days ready to be installed. Once your dishwasher is back up and running, we would love to hear about your repair journey. Feel free to leave a comment below. If you need further assistance, remember that our video guides are here to support you every step of the way. Thank you for choosing us as your trusted DIY resource. And happy repairing.